I'm gonna let my videographer who's holding the camera right now be the first car reviewer. Jarrett, let's take it away. Okay, Jarrett, just like I, just, I was just showing you off camera, you just, just gently set it down, you'll feel it hit the, yeah. Just when I thought YouTube drama in the car community was coming to a nice decline and I didn't think I was going to be posting any more videos in, you know, the time being. And then I go and watch Rob Dom's video. Wow. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about this. So a little bit ago, I'm not really sure what, what the time frame is. I probably didn't even watch this video on Parker's channel, but a little bit ago, Parker test drove Rob Dom's three rotor and something bad happened while Parker was doing like the review and just going over the car and everything. So what apparently happened is when Parker closed the hood of Rob Dom's three rotor, he slammed it and he bent a latch or so and he didn't really check to see if the car was okay or not and he just went out and drove the car and while he was driving it, the hood flapped up and slammed into the windshield and ruined it. Just completely ruined it. It can't be, uh, <laughs> it has to be replaced basically. And Really, um, Rob Dom didn't really care. Uh, he was like, okay, that's an on honest mistake. We can pe press back, uh, <laughs> move past that and everything. And Parker, being a nice guy at the moment, said that he would pay for the hood and everything. But Rob Dom, being an even nicer guy, didn't really take Parker up on the offer. Like, who really cares? Um, but then, then more time goes by and... A friend or of Rob Dom's that's also acquainted with Parker somehow got a hold of some messages where Parker was, you know, basically bashing Dr. M3 and Rob Dom because they got to go to that Michelin Pilot Experience event for the new, uh, for the new tires that just got released and he was like, oh, why didn't I get to go to this event? I get more views in a day than he gets in a month or whatever, or more views in an hour than he gets in a day. Um, I mean, clearly you do, Parker. You upload way more consistently than Rob Dom does. And you're, like Rob Dom said in his um, video, his videos are clickbait and whatever. And Rob Dom puts more effort into his single, like, every once in a while creations like, of course, Parker, you're going to get way more views than him, but maybe they just didn't like you and you weren't selected to <laughs> be a part of that event. Just live with it. You don't have to bash these other creators. Um, whatever. Other than that, and then more time goes by, and Rob Dom says that he's not particularly upset about that either. He can let it slide. But then Parker has the audacity the audacity to message Rob Dom himself and say, ask him why Rob Dom got invited to the event and he didn't basically saying that he gets more views and all of that garbage. And then he has even more audacity to say that he's not going to pay for the hood anymore. <laughs> I mean, upsetting Rob time and time again, to the point that Rob wants him to pay for the hood that he messed up, uh, being just not not very cautious. He then says, oh, that was 18 months ago. If you wanted me to do anything about it, you should have hit me up earlier. Um, okay, Parker. Okay, Parker. I thought we were done with uh, your drama, but apparently we're spilling more into that situation. I mean, I see no fault from Rob Dom's part on this. I mean, unless you want to bash Rob Dom on, uh, there's nothing, I mean, there's really only one side of the story here, and it's Rob Dom, so, I mean, so Parker goes and bashes Rob Dom, uh, heavy stuff, heavy stuff, it's not really that big of a deal, but, you know, just bashing other creators blatantly, thinking that your words aren't going to reach to them, but the funny thing, 
Rob Dom always has to come in with some comedy and <laughs> he kills it. Check out these little clips making fun of Parker. I am. I'm gonna let my videographer who's holding the camera right now be the first car reviewer. Jarrett, let's take it away. Okay, Jarrett, just like I, just, I was just showing you off camera, you just, just gently set it down, you'll feel it hit the... Yep. Yeah. Are you uh, ready for your maiden voyage? Everything look good? Huh? Yeah, okay. Um, wait, hold, dude, dude, hold on, hold, wait, 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 wait. If you wanna go check out Rob Dom's full video, I will put the link in the description of this video so you can go check it out and see what he really has to say in full instead of just listening to my mumble uh, jumble about the situation. But yeah, more beef between YouTube creators and the car community, Rob Dom and Parker Nierenstein from Vehicle Virgins. Uh, I thought I was in the clear, I, I thought I was done with drama for a little bit now, but something always pops up. And yeah, very, very interesting stuff. I'm on Rob Dom's side. I mean, there's really only one side to be on, the person bashing the person and the person that did something. I mean, like Rob said, Parker had no malicious intent when messing up his three-rotor hood, but, you know, it's custom welded and all that. So, yeah, go check out his video, support him so he can <laughs> pick up a new hood and get all the special stuff that needs to be done for the car. All right, I will end the video here. Like, share, comment, subscribe, comment your opinion on the whole situation. And yeah, I will always respond to every single comment and I will catch you in the next video. See you guys later.